Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just waiting for somebody who's taking way too long in the bathroom. <laughs> and there's a line forming. Uh, oh. And going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How do our kidneys filter our bloodstream? Well, you don't have to be a whiz. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, to try this. You will need two half liter water bottles, scissors, six coffee filters, some clay, a pen or pencil, a ruler, a large piece of cardboard, a foil, a plastic container, fish tank tuning, some tape, red food coloring, and some water. Woo! Start by cutting off the bottom of the water bottle. Keep the bottom, you'll need it later. Push some clay into the bottle's opening, then using a pen or pencil, poke a hole through the clay. Now cut off a 30 centimeter section of the fish tank tubing. Insert the fish tank tubing through the hole in the clay. Tighten the clay around the tube, both inside and outside of the bottle. Okay, before we go any further, we gotta test this for leaks. No pun intended! <laughs> okay, you probably wanna test this over a container. Now finish up by placing six coffee filters inside the bottle. Okay, last but not least, you are going to attach your kidney model to a piece of cardboard. Attach a funnel towards the bottom of the cardboard and run the tubing into the funnel. Oh yeah, you don't want to have any spills, so uh, <laughs> get yourself something to put under the funnel. Now, grab yourself some water and some red food coloring. You're going to drip one drop of red food coloring into the water. Okay, you're gonna take this water and you're gonna pour it into your kidney model and watch! Here we go! Yes! <laughs> the water that came out the other end is clear, not red. So, what does this setup have to do with how everybody's kidneys work? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. When you drink liquids, your digestive system absorbs those liquids into your bloodstream. Your blood circulates through your kidneys, which go to work filtering the blood, just like the model filters the red food coloring from the water. Blood is brought to your kidneys by the renal artery. Once inside the kidneys, the blood passes through a million tiny filters known as nephrons. The blood is under so much pressure that most of the plasma leaks out of the bloodstream, leaving mostly just the blood cells. Your kidney goes through a reabsorption process which allows the plasma to be returned to the bloodstream without allowing any of the chemicals that need to be removed from your body. These dangerous or unneeded chemicals are then sent down the ureters to be stored in the bladder. The feeling that you need to drain your bladder comes from your bladder filling up enough that it presses up against surrounding organs. Your pee is made up mostly of urea, which was converted from ammonia, which is the byproduct of breaking apart amino acids, as well as any other chemicals such as excess salts, sugars, liquids, nutrients, dead blood cells, and all types of drugs. So now you know how the kidneys work. You know, making a model of the old sprinkler system? Ha <laughs> ha! Is why science? It's so cool.